Hey folks, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. And a shout out to those of you that are in South Korea that follow me. Thank you very much. South Korea had a magnitude 2.5 earthquake. It was posted on EMSC. So I decided to go back two months and post all the earthquakes that have occurred there in South Korea in the last two months. I also have North Korea um, earthquakes that South Korea posted on their website. All links to the web pages for information will be in the information box below this video. Here is the uh, South Korean uh, website. It's been translated and you can see there was a 2.5 earthquake, 8 uh, kilometers in depth, which is about 4.7 miles in depth, I believe. They gave it an intensity level of 4, which means it was felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. At night, some may have been woken up, dishes, windows, doors were rattling. Autos rocked noticeably. EMSC was the only site that posted this earthquake. It's how I found it. But there wasn't um, any felt reports sent into EMSC. So if you felt this earthquake, let me know how long did it seem to last? What direction did it seem to move? And what did you observe? Here is the location of the 2.5 earthquake. South Korea, um, on the page that I'm showing you, only reports a magnitude 2 or larger. So we got a significant size little city over here to the east. Did you feel it? North Korea has been in the news lately. Um, they sent between 10 and 12,000 troops to Ukraine. And evidently, South Korea has asked North Korea, like they're going to listen, to remove those troops. Also, back on the 17th, North Korea blew up sections of its road and railway links with South Korea. Um, it was labeled, or North Korea has labeled South Korea as a hostile state. And has anyone heard about our Secretary of Defense, Lloyd Austin? going to Puerto Rico for vacation or is that just a bunch of hogwash BS that's going around? So this is all the earthquakes in the last two months. Uh, yeah, there isn't really a lot of earthquakes that occur there um, between North Korea and South Korea. They have had major earthquakes in the past that caused destruction and loss of life. But I think the people of South Korea don't realize that the uh, Toku earthquake back in 2011 changed dramatically uh, the movement of the plates here in the Sea of Japan. Yeah, that was over here. Okay, so we got the 2011 earthquake. Um, they had uplift of over 300 feet along this fault zone, which is the uh, Japan Trench. Yeah, it changed the tectonic movement drastically in this area. Down in the southern area of the Sea of Japan, we now have compression. Um, yeah, they're saying that this is dramatic, and it's probably going to uh, one day disintegrate, close up, um, this location of the Sea of Japan. Um, in the past, it was spreading that was going on, and that was mostly in the north. But now it's reversed down here towards the south to compression, which means there's a lot of pressure being built. So that could indicate that in the future, on the uh, southeast part of um, South Korea, you you could very well have some very large and destructive earthquakes. Since that 2011 earthquake, mid-crustal and lower crustal events um, have increased in the region, where seismicity used to be low before the event in 2011. At first, they thought the increase in earthquakes was from what they call rebalancing 
um, after the mega thrust earthquake there that they had. The East Sea, the Sea of Japan, used to be a major region of seismicity around the Korean Peninsula. Most earthquakes in the East Sea occurred at a distance of about 60 kilometers from the coast. That's only about 37 miles. This area, the Western East Sea, Sea of Japan, is currently in an east to west directional compression. Um, yeah, that's what's going on in this region. It's compressing. Yeah, and compression is not good. It means that it's building up for large earthquakes. Down over here, they have had some large earthquakes. Um, in 2017, there was a magnitude 5.4. Um, 82 people were injured from that earthquake. 2016, that was a double earthquake. They had a magnitude 5.8 and a 5.4. Now, this is along what they call the Yang San Fault System. I got some of them drawn out. It goes all the way south, as you can see here, and then all the way north. Let me pull this out and then probably extends out into the sea where we got these other earthquakes that recently occurred. I'm just going to go back to the uh, South Korea website. Here we got a 2.1. Now that occurred on the 22nd. That was yesterday. The day before, a 2.2 uh, on the 21st. Let's see, nothing until the 16th. You can see they really don't have a lot of earthquakes in that location but with that stress building up yeah you could have some large earthquakes 2.1 um see last month on the 26th there was a 2.9 let me bring it down on the 12th of last month um oh here we go on the 19th there was a 3.9 let's see where that one was at so we'll go back to google earth and oh that was up in north korea Right there, okay. 3.9. I'll bring this out. We got one town near here called Pungingjin. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. First thing that comes into my mind, is it a man-made earthquake? Or, you know, was it something else? Maybe building... For some no, more nuclear tests. I don't know. Yeah, that's the only one in this area where the villages are actually labeled. Let me bring this out a little bit. Go back down towards the border. Here we got a 2.9. Now that was on the 26th of last month. And we got a 2.2. Um, what was the date on that? I don't see a date. Okay, and then we'll come out. Here's another 2.9. That was on the 19th. I got a date for that one. 2.1. Um, let's see, March, was that March? Okay, and we'll come down. So that's all North Korea. Um, and here's the border, South Korea, I believe, yeah. But yeah, have the people of South Korea been told about this compression that's going on there? in the Sea of Japan, and how it would probably raise the risk of large earthquakes Yeah, along this fault zone. I hope you're prepared. Um, yeah, I would think that you are. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.